If you've ever wanted to learn film photography, this is the camera for you. So my entire life, I've always actually wanted to dive into film photography, but there's always been a whole bunch of barriers that have been setting my way from actually achieving that goal of learning film photography. One of those things is the cost. I didn't want to go buy a film camera, and I didn't want to spend a ton of money on film. Because the biggest thing with film is every single roll, you only get 36 shots, and then you have to develop it, so you have to pay for the roll, you have to pay for the development, and you only get 36 shots, and if you're not a very good photographer, that sucks. That's a ton of money that you're using constantly just to take a few images that might not even end up very good. But luckily, that's where the Kodak Ektar H35 really comes into play. This camera is a half frame. What this means is that this camera will take two images per frame of film. So instead of just 36 shots, you get 72. So it basically cuts the price of film in half, which is awesome if you are wanting to actually learn how to shoot film. The images that I'm gonna to show today are absolutely ridiculous because this is the first time I've ever gone out and I've actually shot true film. And I am so surprised by how well this camera does because it was only $40. Like that is a ridiculous price tag for a camera. It's 40 bucks. It can create some pretty damn spectacular images. We'll do a whole review on the images that I took on this camera. Rip me apart, it's the first time I've ever shot film. I'm actually a pretty decent landscape and product photographer, but there's something about shooting film that just honestly instantly made me scared every single time I try to pull the trigger on this thing. It's just like, I don't even feel like I would take a shot of like, I would like, pull the trigger and you can't even hear anything and be like, whoa, like didn't do anything. So like it was, it was a whole, it was a really weird experience. Build quality on this sucker, it really isn't super great. It's kind of just a big plasticky, it kind of feels like a disposable camera basically. Yeah, it's plasticky, you can like, yeah, you can hear it. It really just like, there's not much to it. You can't even, you can't even put this thing on a tripod. It's pretty, this is as basic as you can possibly get with a camera. Um, but the look of it's actually really cool and I love the little like, I love the dual color on it, the silver and the black, and you can get any kind of color you want. One of the nicest things about this camera is there's no settings on it. I think that's one of the things that I liked most about because a big fear of learning film photography is you really do need to know your settings, especially when you're trying to expose film. This has a set aperture, a set shutter, and the ISO depends on what kind of film stock you're using. And so you put it in and it is just kind of idiot proof. It's go, point, shoot, and see if you nailed it. I did notice on a lot of my images that if I was shooting into the sunlight, it was overexposed, and I was only shooting on 200 speed film. So I wasn't shooting on anything fast, I was shooting on pretty slow film, and I was still getting a little bit of overexposure. Luckily, film has a crazy latitude, and so bringing down those highlights was actually pretty easy so that you could still use those images, or still have some good looking images out of it. And the image quality, you are cutting that film frame in half, but the image quality actually still holds up pretty damn well. If you look at these landscape photos that I took, they still hold up really well. And you do have a little bit on the side of the camera, or you can see like on the side of the frame, that it does get a little bit soft. But again, that's kind of a characteristic of just the camera. And honestly, I probably would have done that in post anyway if I was using an actual camera. Let's really quickly, let's go and review some of the photos that I actually took with this thing. I was just kind of goofing off. I wasn't taking it way seriously, but now that I have shot with it, I do want to take it more seriously. And next time I do my next roll of film, I want to go out and actually really try to do some cool landscape or do some really cool cityscape shots and see what I can create with this little guy. But for now, let's go ahead and review some of these photos that I took with the Kodak Ektar H35. I think one of the funniest part about looking at these photos is this is literally the first time I was using film. <laughs> the first time I've ever done film photography. And the best part about it is like you can legitimately see like, I didn't even know, how, I did not even know how to set up the camera. I actually had to call my brother Kevin over and have him show me how to put film into the camera because I had never done it before. What you're gonna do is you're gonna flip this little switch on the bottom and you're gonna pop that out. Then you're gonna take your film, drop that in there and reset our little rewinder here. And then you're gonna take your film tab, pull him over. Every shot of these is literally like, wow, he doesn't know what he's doing with this thing. So first shot, as you can see, completely black. That's just kind of your waste frame. My brother says you always have a frame that you have to waste. Um, the film stock I'm using is Fuji 200 speed. This camera is not a low light camera. I learned that really quickly. It does not perform well in low light. But again, you can also see in this shot over here that as soon as you're shooting into the sun, it has a hard time. It, 
it, it exposes way too much. It's a little bit too overexposed, even on just 200 speed film. So next time I go, I might end up using 100 speed film. It's too dark to shoot inside. I think I had the flash on on this one and it still just didn't look great. Just too dark, too dark, too dark. Can't shoot inside, can't shoot. I, I didn't know and now I know and oh well. You learn, right? These ones I did use the flash on though, and look at the colors on that meat. Lovely. It's a terrible photo, but some beautiful and good looking meat. These are the landscapes that I tried to do on it, and honestly, they actually, again, like these are some colors that I would probably actually try to edit into post on the photos that I was actually trying to do. And like, even so, like, look at the quality of that. Like, you can see again on like the sides that it does kind of, like, you can kind of see on the sides that it does have a little bit of uh, blurring and it's not the sharpest on the side. It's pretty tack sharp in the middle, but it's not sharp on the sides. But look at the latitude of that. And also just like, again, for a $40 camera, that's a pretty damn beautiful landscape, I think. Yeah, film, film has, film has a character to it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's hilarious because I think everybody tries to get that film look in digital, but, why not just shoot film if you're always just trying to get that film look? This shot is the only shot that I actually feel like I nailed, and it's nothing. It is literally just a picture of a hospital that we were passing, basically, and but the colors on it turned out incredible. I, I don't know what it is. Film just has the most beautiful colors. <laughs> like, you can try to recreate it in digital as much as you want, but film just crushes it every time. I think a lot of these images are literally just fun memories, fun moments in time. And they're more, they feel more real because they were shot on a real thing. <laughs> they weren't shot digitally. I would say that my biggest end all take from this experiment of my first time shooting film photography and using the Ektar H35, film is cool. If you're wanting to learn how to use film, pick up one of these cameras. This is not a sponsored thing. Just pick one of these suckers up because really, and you can actually take some really damn good images with just this little camera and it just slips in your pocket. It weighs nothing, it's awesome. Check out the Kodak Ektar H35 and um, like and subscribe for more photo tips, I don't know, something like that.